I talk a lot in my business how I track my hours and how I stick to working around 20 hours a week. And I know exactly where my time is going and where my team's time is going as well. The reason I'm able to know that is because we use a free application called Toggle to do that. I've gotten a lot of requests to do a video where I kind of walk you through and show you how I'm doing this in Toggle, how I'm tracking my hours, keeping things organized, what exactly this looks like. I have done this for years in my business. I can think back all the way to like 2018, 2019, I started tracking my hours and it's really cool to be able to come into my account now. I can see how many hours I've spent on back when I worked with one-on-one -on -one clients, how much I was spending on that or how much I spent time I've spent on every single launch that I've done in my business and all the different miscellaneous tasks of my business. And it's also been a huge eye opener in different seasons to see like what things I might need to start outsourcing, what things I just need to cut out completely that's not actually not worth my time. And it really helps give you a lot of clarity on that, especially since becoming a mom, I've had to have so much vision for how I'm using my time. I mean, I still have a very tiny team right now. It's me and I have one ongoing team member and then I occasionally hire contractors for different projects and stuff. And I have a bookkeeper and accountant, but outside of that, it's really just me and my ongoing team member day in and day out and really just learning to use our time well, because we both work about 20 hours a week. We don't work full-time hours. Collectively, the two of us work about 40 hours a week. This is essentially how we're tracking that time that we're using every single week to run this business. Like where is it all going? Right. And how much time is this actually taking us? And it's really helpful for me too, to see like, you know, where all the time is going, how can I maximize my time? How can I change my workflow in my work routine to maximize my time? So Without further ado, let's go ahead. If you look to your screen now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Toggle and show you what this looks like on the back end. All right, so once you go to the link below in the description, go create a free Toggle account and you log in, it's gonna look something like this and yours will be blank, right? Like you're not gonna have anything in there yet if you create a new account, but this is essentially like what it looks like when I log in every single day. So whenever I sit down to work, I have this, this is actually set to like my Google Chrome homepage, whatever that's called, like the automatic page that it goes to whenever I open Google Chrome comes on this page to make sure I'm tracking my time and make sure that when I'm working, I'm essentially still clocking in and making sure like I am just tracking that as a business owner can be easy to just not do that and then not really know how much time you're working. And there have been occasional seasons where I don't do this because of like coming back from maternity leave and I'm not even working that much anyway. Most of the time I'm doing this, okay? So when we come in here, you can already kind of see right now I'm tracking my time because I'm filming YouTube content, right? And so I've been doing that for I guess an hour and 13 minutes so far today. And this is where on this homepage will tell you like day by day, like how much time you've spent on different things. And so uh, this is where I come in and I actually have up here, um, I use projects to categorize my time. And so you'll see like every single one, like I write here in the description, like what I'm doing. Sometimes it's more descriptive. Like for here, I have a project called Content Instagram and I put in here like what exactly I was doing during that time. So I was planning my feed content and I was posting on my Instagram stories. And so if we go here, um, I wonder if I can, if I click on this, I can show you different projects. These are all my active projects right now. Some of these I use a lot more than others. Like I use my admin emails. That tells me how much time I spend specifically answering emails in my inbox. I have consuming education, um, content, all my content, the ones that start with content are like content creation for my marketing. And I have one for email, one for Instagram, one for podcasting, one for YouTube, actually a few different ones for YouTube because I break it into different categories here. I have one for working on my evergreen sales funnels, one for Facebook ads, one for freebie creation, um, one for my different launches. Like whenever I launch my membership, everything goes under this one. If there's like a one-time project. I'll make a new project for that because so I can look back and see how much time I spent on that specific launch. Like I made one for our Black Friday launch. I made one for launching a new course, a new digital product. I'll show you that here in a second. And once I'm done with them, I archive them so that I don't have too long of a list here because there are way more than this. But these are the main categories here. And if you want to like, I'll you know, I've scrolled up and down all of it at this point. So if you want to go back and pause and see what are all the categories I use, if that's helpful. I also have a bunch of team ones here. 
And I think that's about it. Yeah. So this really helps me to categorize and see from like a bird's eye view where I'm spending my time. And then I can always go into each project and see like specifically what tasks I was doing and if there's anything I need to cut out or hand off or whatever it is, right? So when you have those projects made, you would just simply, so here, like I can stop my timer here. When I come in here to start a new day, a lot of times some of the tasks that I'm doing, like find out, oh, I'm going to pop into writing emails again. Then I can come down here and just hit play right here and it'll automatically start the timer. You can also just delete it here and uh, or you can just type in here like what you're working on or alternatively select a project first and then type in like what you're working on for that. And so it makes it really easy and simple to come in here and just like start the timer, right? And so I start and stop my timer. Like if I take breaks during the day, I don't leave my timer going. I stop it. So I am keeping in mind like when I say 20 hours a week, that's keeping in mind. Usually throughout the day, I'm taking at least an hour for breaks, sometimes up to two hours because I'm currently nursing. So I have to take more breaks throughout the day. So it just depends how much work I have, how many breaks I need to take. And so typically that, that has worked out to, I work four days a week. So typically it's like anywhere from four hours to six hours from like the start time to the finish time in a work day is what that looks like with actually working like four to five hours like sitting down work time so it just really depends on the day it's pretty I don't have a strict schedule but it's pretty like I get up and usually an hour and a half to two hours after I wake up for the days when I start work so that could be anywhere from 9 30 a.m to sometimes like 11 30 a.m just kind of depends and then usually I try to stop work by 4 p.m at the latest that's just a good rhythm for our family and around the time when it gives me a little bit of downtime before we have dinner and transitioning into hanging out with my family okay so going back to this so whenever we are in here, it's really cool because you can look at your analytics. And so if we come down here to under analyze, I also use this a lot and look at like the time spent on things. And you can also download this on your phone. There is a smartphone app. So you can use this like, like if I go on my phone and for example, if I'm working on posting on Instagram at night before bed, like I go on my phone on toggle and start the timer for posting Instagram content because I'm working, right? Like that's work. And so, okay, so we go down here under analyze. Um, the analytics, I guess it would be like, so under analytics here just has a different dashboards which already show up over here, but it's really, it would just be like your summary dashboard, your weekly dashboard. That's where you can really see like how much you're working and like things like that. Um, there's a lot of fun things you can do in here, but I typically go more towards the reports. So if you go down to reports, that's where you can see, you can see like this week, it's a Monday, which is why, and actually my team member is out of town this week on a trip, which is so fun. By the time you see this, it'll be like a month later. But, um, so she is not working today. So like her hours aren't even in here. Like if we go to last week, we'll see, uh, we have 38 hours and 39 minutes worked and that's between me and her. Cause we both use this and it's both like within the same workspace essentially. And she actually uses tags. So at the top here, there's projects. There's also tags. You can utilize that as well. I let her, so like she uses tags for all of her tasks. And then I use projects for all of mine just to kind of help keep them separate from mine versus like team tasks. It helps make it a little easier. But you can also go to like member at the top and you're able to select each member. So that doesn't necessarily totally matter, but just helps keep it a little more streamlined because like some of the things she does is a little different from me. And so, yeah, but like I can select just myself here and I can see last week I worked 23 hours and 41 minutes. Week before that works 20 hours and 17 minutes. Week before that I worked 17 hours, 16 minutes. So and then when you scroll down, it'll tell you like the breakdown right here between the different things. Here you can see like how much time I was spending on each thing and the percentage of time. Like I spent 51 minutes on emails this week. 3 hours and 33 minutes on Instagram content, 23 minutes on podcast content, 12 minutes on YouTube editing, 2 hours on YouTube filming. So I must have been filming that week because um, I did outlining and filming. So it took me 3 hours and 14 minutes to do that. Yeah, so it's just really cool to see like the breakdown. And to me, more recently, this came more eye-opening. I was spending way too much time with admin work. And this week, I know because this is January 6th, it was the first week back after Christmas break. So that's why my emails was way up, but like, let's skip ahead. And that next week, I only spent 21 minutes on emails. I started realizing when I, like from the previous year, I was spending way too much time on my inbox. And so I came up with a new workflow for this year and it's severely cut down the amount of time I'm spending on emails and like answering more admin stuff. And so it's just cool to see, like it's really eye-opening to see how much time you're actually spending on stuff. And you can see like, even for this week, 
I truly am putting myself more and more in the seat of visionary with the tasks that I'm doing. And I love doing like being super in tune with my community and doing a lot of the like obviously there's a lot of content creation that comes from me because I'm a personal brand and then also working on like you'll see here this week I worked on my evergreen sales funnels I spent a lot of time with product development because I'm working on updating my course right now and so it's really cool to see how like even this week I didn't spend that much time answering my team messages about five minutes and so yeah, so it's just cool to see how I'm able to put myself more in that seat by having help, obviously, from Maggie. So, like, if we go to her for this same week, we can see how many hours she works. Um, and hers are not in projects. Like, I have to go to the different tags and, like, see, like, what how, what the breakdown of that is. I think I can click on this. Yeah, and I'm able to see, like, what are the different tasks that she was doing and how much time she's spending on things. And so, I mean, if that's a breakdown that you guys want more of, like, how much in a typical week each of us spend on different tasks. Um, I can definitely do that. Maggie's role right now is primarily on, she does a lot of our content management when it comes to repurposing from YouTube and from Instagram. I create the bulk of the content for those two platforms and she'll help repurpose like into blog posts, into our content roundup every Thursday, um, Pinterest pins, things like that. And then she has a lot of the backend support when it comes to our students and um, inbox management and things like that. And so she's helping to like execute and run our membership and really help make sure our students are served really well and also like give me what I need to review or whatever when it comes to like video edits or for questions we have come in about like through our courses and things like that. So it's just cool to see how like you can see that breakdown. And also, so another thing I wanted to show you to go down to under where it says manage, go to projects. So this is the cool part. Like I can look back and see if at the top, if we also show archived, so those are projects I'm not currently actively using. We can look back and see. I mean, I've used this, this is 2020 rebrand. Like when I rebranded my, I guess my website, I spent 47 hours on that. That's actually a lot of time. <laughs> Why did I spend that much time? I don't know. But if we go down here, like you can see lifetime. So time frame here is since 2020. So I like, this is when I created each project. This is how many hours I've spent on answering emails since May of 2020, how much I spent managing my finances, how much time I've spent on miscellaneous admin tasks. I believe, can I go, I don't think I can do time frame necessarily here. Um, but okay, if we keep going down right here, we have, this is back when I was doing wedding photography clients. So we have like for weddings, for education, for branding. I broke that up at some point. At one point I made this like just general miscellaneous one, but I used to break that up by like how much I was spending on the education side of my business versus the client side of my business. Um, we got on here, like we can see Black Friday 2023. I spent 17 hours running that campaign. 2020, I spent an hour, hour, 1.3 hours, which I guess would be like an hour and 20 minutes. This one, I spent five hours and 30 minutes approximately, which is so funny. Like Black Friday doesn't have to be complicated, um, can get complicated, but like there's years it did not take me that much time to put together. Um, when I back when I did my own blogging, did some of that, it took me about 10 hours. Um, let's go down, let me find, there is a, let's see, you can see like Facebook ads, Technically, I made that in 2020, but I have not done a lot of Facebook ads until like the past year. So I would say majority of that's probably in the past year, which is interesting. Um, we can see, okay, here's a course launch. Like when I launched my inbox to income course, and that was a course launch that I didn't hire any other team member to help me launch this course. So I spent 52 hours on that launch. Outside of the hours, Maggie also helped with that launch. She helped with some of the execution of it, but I remember a lot of the actual like launch materials, like all the emails and the webinar and stuff like that, a lot of that was a project I took on and uh, this included making the course. So I created the entire course and launched it in 52 hours. I can go back to some of my other course launches though. Let's see. I feel like I named yeah I made a lot of them I, that needs to be renamed but a lot of them are named launch at the front so you can see like a more recently when I launched my online course starter kit I spent and when I say launch like to me that's the first time I launched something okay so like the very first launch of that product I don't go back and like reuse it and so like the creation and launching of it it, the, this product took me 34 hours. Plug and play reels. That is definitely not accurate because I spent way more time creating that product. I don't know where the other time it got reallocated somewhere else. 
So I need to go back and see where that went. But like my Reels mini course, this was something that was eye-opening to me. You can see here, my Reels mini course launch took me about 90 hours to launch it, which sounds like a lot. But also if you go back to, and this is back before, like I had no launch integrator, no one else on my team really helping. This is actually before I hired Maggie. So it was pretty much all of me. I had a virtual assistant who worked like maybe one or two hours a week for me. But besides that, I was doing everything here, okay? And so um, comparing that to the year before, I launched a course called the Business Confident Photographer Photography Course. I spent 180 hours on that launch. And this Reels Mini Course launch really opened my eyes to like, I spent way less time on that launch, almost 100 hours or less creating and launching that course. And I also didn't spend any money on Facebook ads. That was almost, a, that was a $40,000 launch. And I only spent like $1,500 in expenses versus this launch was like $8,000 in expenses. And it was a $25,000 launch. And so it really opened my eyes to like getting scrappy and doing things yourself could be just as successful as spending money on all the things like copy and Facebook ads and all that stuff. So yeah, but I wouldn't know that if I hadn't tracked my time to know like how much time I'm actually spending on it. I would know what my expenses, but like this just opens your eyes so much more to like the time you're spending on it too. So yeah, it's just cool to see like how different launches, like my YouTuber business launch, it took me 78 hours. I did have more help from an integrator with that. So it's just cool. It's just so eye-opening to like look back and see like how much time different things took me and can really help to see like even from a like revenue standpoint, you might feel like, oh, this thing didn't go well, but then you can look at your time and how much money you actually make, like the gross revenue, but also the profit from it and see how much you actually made. And some things might be more profitable than you were expecting, or some things might be less profitable than you maybe thought they were, right? Depending on how much time you're putting into it. So that's really how I utilize Toggle. That is an overview of how I use it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And since you've seen like how much time it actually took me to launch my courses, maybe now you're a little curious about my online course launch strategy and exactly what that looks like and how it works. So I'm gonna pop a video on the screen on a recent video I created on my online course strategy, something that actually works and it has led to really great results for my business with launches any ranging anywhere from $15,000 all the way up to $40,000 in about a 10 day time period. So if you're curious about that, pop that video over here. You can go ahead and watch it and I'll see you guys in the next video on Tuesday. Bye guys.